Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will talk about in Azure, right? In while we are launching virtual machine and that time we are providing basically SSH key. OK, uh, suppose that SSH key if you lost right due to some XYZ reason, then how we can connect our virtual machine, right? So I will show you like there are a couple of approach there by using that we can connect. So today's session, what our agenda is, let's quickly review that. We'll create one virtual machine and with SSH key and then without SSH key, right? What would be the alternate approach to connect the Azure VM? There are multiple approaches there, like uh, by using reset the password or we can update the SSH key also, or we can create a jump box or bash stone. Okay, guys. So let's move on to that. Azure console. OK, guys, this is my Azure. I have already logged in here. So let's create one virtual machine. Click on create. Three tabs, cloud post app server. OK. So so I use to something like that. Even or centers, whatever we want, you can give this for your requirement. So that and then SSH key, new key here, or existing key. I have already created one key, so let me show you how we can create basically key. key. So. If you don't have key, then you can create generate a new key pair while we are launching. That's the one option. Or you can use existing key. OK, that's the another option. And if you want, want to create separately key, right? So just go to here and then. Yeah, just search SSH key, then you will come here. And then you can create SSH key by clicking create. Then you can create that uh, resource group name. And then you can give the key. So this is how we can give. Or if you have any public key, then you can up, up, upload that public key. What you have in your local. OK, guys, so like this, we can create a key. So I have already key. So let's uh, go to. Here. So let's review. It's taking time. It will take few minutes to launch the instance. OK, guys. In AWS, we used to call instance, right? In Azure, we used to call virtual machine. OK, guys, it's same as it is. Whatever we can do in AWS EC2, same thing we can do in Azure. But in AWS, if you lost the key, the approach could be different. So I have already demonstrated in that AWS. If you lost the key, then what are the solution we can do? And let's see here. Uh, little different approach also is providing here in Azure. OK, guys. Let's deploy this. All right, so here. This is the public IP, right? With that, we can connect with the SSH. Okay, guys. So let's go to here. So Party software, either put or mobile stream by using anything you can connect. So guys, as your user, click on advance, use the private. See if it is that employed successfully or not. Let us create the status. Let us still create it. Compared to AWS, right? Azure VM provisioning used to take a little more time. Running state. 
still it is in deployment. See, Let's wait for a few seconds, few more seconds because uh, now mobile is still not connected. See that is this time it is launching that uh, I don't have that uh, VNet also, right? So while we are creating this instance, right? It is launching VNet also, right? So if we, I could have launched the VNet earlier, then it won't take this much time. So because of that is to a time. So if you guys have already VNet all that uh, set up, then it won't take much time. So if you don't know about the VNet and how you can see it, so I have already demonstrated in my previous session. So you can have a look. So now if you see, click here, right? Instances. So it is, it is now running state right? So now we can connect. So let's see. Now we are able to connect, right? To user. Now, think due to some XYZ reason, I lost that key. Okay, so how? Okay, let me show you that. Suppose let's um, come here. Start this and put two here. Just take the copy code. Okay, and now let's try to connect again. See, it is not able to connect. Right? Now you lost the key. Then what could be the alternate approach? So there are many ways we can do this thing basically. So let me show you that one by one. So go to the portal again. So this is my view. Right? So here, if you scroll down left side, right, here we will see one option like uh, reset password. If you just click here, let me show you. Here you can reset this password. As you user or if you want to change you can change the user also here okay guys so let's keep the as it is user and now. one more thing this uh, kind of thing right it will helpful suppose uh, not only lost the key right in some situation where you don't have the key also you don't have access to that key, right? Maybe key is in third party uh, software is managing. Maybe has uh, has vault or somewhere, right? Or maybe in the AWS KMS is managing, but the, you don't have access, right? But you provision the VM, right? And you want to connect that VM, right? Then a uh, what you can do? Then you can reset uh, that VM to by using username password, right? So let's update. So in that way also you can uh, uh, like uh, this is one more uh, use case I am saying like in that way also you can use it. Okay, so once it is updated, right? This uh, password also update also it will take some time. So just wait. Meantime, what we can do? Uh, I will show you like uh, how you can by using key also uh, like a new key, right? If you generate new key by using that also, how you can do that? Right? So let me show you. So go to SSH key. Here yeah, create key. Save that key here. Yeah. Suppose you created a new key, and with that new key you want to connect, right? So let me show you how we can do that. Okay. So suppose new. That generate. Let's see. Still, it is updating. Yeah, update is successful, right? So now let's try here to go to the overview. Save. Now it is running. So let's go here. Now. 
now it is asking the password. It was uh, searching file, right? Now it is asking password. So by using that password, we can come. Right? Now we are in. So we can switch right. So this is how we can connect uh, that instance. And another way of course is like uh, I have created one more new key here, right? So let me show you that. So what we can do? Open the key. And if you just copy here and come here with that new key, also we can able to come. Let me show you reset. Reset up public key, right? So let's keep the same username as your user and let's keep the public key update to okay. Let's update the SSH key. Like this, also we can update. So key up new key I am created. Maybe you don't have that key, right? Maybe from portal also you, that key is lost, right? Then you can do like this. Okay. So update it. It's taking time. Uh, meantime, what I can do? Let me go to here. Download. Just take the new key. Uh, okay. So try to connect it. Nice. Yes. So this update is done. So now let's try to go to overview. IP. So, 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 now give the new key. Whatever new key we created, right? So, let's give that and try it. We are moved to his files, right? So this is how we can connect. So another approach is the Bankstone one. So may, maybe in my next subsequent video, I will show you the because that I need to configure, right? So that maybe it will take uh, another 10 to 15 minutes. So in my next subsequent video, I will show you like how we can configure the Bankstone. Okay, guys. And I hope this session will helpful to you guys. And if you like this session. Then please do like, uh, comment, and subscribe my channel and share with your friend so that it will really help to me and spread to me. Okay, guys. Chalo, bye.